Hi everyone, before I start this video off, I highly recommend you check out both Miss Amphroponies and MTS's The Sharks video response of Robert. I highly recommend it. Also, I want to give as much context as possible because I, I will use a long clip for the bottom of the barrel Robert the Law Cal clip to give proper context of this situation. Oh, and this response video of mine is going to be the most angriest one of them all and probably the longest, so I'll just give you guys a little heads up. Now, without further ado, let's check out the video. I'm getting offended by the fact that Miss Anthropony thinks he's mm -hmm. trying to act so superior. You are made of Stupid. You little piece of shit. I gave you a chance to move on. I gave you a chance to put this behind you. I was willing to forget about you and never speak of you again. And then you do this? Coyote Lovely was very nice to you. He was nicer to you than any of us. And then you do this to him? All because I called you names for being a pathetic Neil Druckmann bootlicker? Not even 48 hours and you went back on your promise. And when Coyote confronted you, you blocked him like the pathetic coward that you are. It's showtime. Hand Spirit viewers, this is your Hand Spirit Messiah Blue X here, and today I have a serious topic for you guys. Now, remember the times where Miss Emperor Pony get a lot of hate, uh, not only on YouTube but also on Twitter, because he was known for a cyber bully. But what if I told you that in actuality, it was a complete farce, and the real culprit? was none other than Robert. What? What the fuck? Now I know what you all thinking. Blue X, how did you came up with that conclusion? Well, I'll tell you. Recently, I watched Miss Amphropony's video about how Robert completely swept under the rug and completely smeared his name. Well, let's check out the clip of Miss Amphropony's original video. You little piece of shit. I gave you a chance to move on. I gave you a chance to put this behind you. I was willing to forget about you and never speak of you again. And then you do this? Coyote Lovely was very nice to you. He was nicer to you than any of us. And then you do this to him? All because I called you names for being a pathetic Neil Druckmann bootlicker? Not even 48 hours and you went back on your promise. And when Coyote confronted you, you blocked him like the pathetic coward that you are. I don't care what beef you have with me, you had zero reason to do that to him. For over a year, you have been stalking me, going to every pathetic attempt to destroy my YouTube channel, constantly going through my Twitter and DeviantArt for anything you consider ammunition against me. You took a screenshot of someone trying to one-up me when they went into my Twitter to mock me over Star Wars, when all I was doing was commenting on the improvements that Pixar made to the human models in their animated movies. And then, you deliberately cut out the part where he called me a Phantom Menace jackass and hyper-focused on my report reply to him. You are willing to go so far as to deliberately lie to people and leave context out as long as it makes me look as horrible as possible. And now you're going after Emily, trying to make a victim of multiple adult men grooming her, try to feel bad about standing by the people who saved her life, a child who I helped recover from actual trauma inflicted on her by a pedophile while you were wiping your ass with your hurt feelings over a garbage video game and a garbage movie trilogy. You call me a monster? Look in the mirror, you fucking cunt. You're exactly the kind of person that The Last of Us Part 2, the Star Wars sequel trilogy, and Ghostbusters 2016 was made for. A stupid consumerist retard who's willing to mindlessly shovel the contents of an unflushed toilet down his throat regardless of how grotesque it is as long as it has the name of a big brand IP slapped onto it. Someone who's willing to ignore very blatant problems staring the 
them in the face and act like nothing is wrong in favor of siding with a corporation that wouldn't give two shits if you dropped dead today and you're getting the humiliation you deserve. You deserve to be made fun of by me, by the people in this Discord server, by Mahler, and by the people of EFAP because your actions have proven that all the time Coyote spent being nice to you, being level-headed with you, his willingness to understand your side of things meant jack shit. He gave you his trust and you threw it in his face like yesterday's trash. You lied to his face because you don't care about anything except your miserable crusade to discredit me. You will never stop shouting at the world about how I'm a monstrous, evil human being who needs to be exposed and you will not stop until your dying breath. And the roof is woo way out there. However, this doesn't stop there because Robert was going as far as going after Emily, who's once the victim of a pedophilia. And now you're going after Emily, trying to make a victim of multiple adult men grooming her, try to feel bad about standing by the people who saved her life, a child who I helped recover from actual trauma inflicted on her by a pedophile, while you were wiping your ass with your hurt feelings over a garbage video game and a garbage movie trilogy. <sighs> Boy, that escalated quickly. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. Yep, Robert has gone too far this time. I really felt sorry for Minthard. And Minthard, if you're watching this video, I am incredibly sorry for what happened to you. As, and everyone else pretty much feels sorry about what happened to you in this situation. But luckily, new information has come to light, which means some other YouTubers who is also covering this Robert drama which is the Discord server, so let's check out one of the clips. I, do, you, do you know how I avoid worrying about if something's going to be posted online? What? I standing by anything I say, whether it be private or public, and not making a fool out of myself. Okay. Can, can I just, can I interfere? Hello, Robert. Uh... I wanted to ask you a question, right? So you're 27. Um, do you do you by any chance live with your parents? I do not. I live on my own. Okay. Okay. Very nice. Um, yeah, that's all I wanted to ask, really. Anybody else? I I have some more questions. Yeah, you have more questions. I'm sure. Yeah, go ahead. Do you think I, that twi Yes. Did somebody else talk? Yeah, that was key. I was I was just gonna ask if I could get just a brief spark notes of what's happening here. I like I said, oh, just got here. It's pretty. I can long. give you. A, I'll give you a real quick. Um, Misanthropony upset some people. They started making very blatantly false accusations. Robert here tried to propagate those false accusations, and when I pointed out that he doesn't know what words mean, he got offended, pivoted the conversation, and wants me to answer for why Misanthropony has said mean things to him specifically. Well, what's, has harassed him. What specifically has Misanthropony said to you, Robert? And we can move on from there. We did well, ask. It's yeah, not right. just... Um, all right. Since... It's, it's, not, it's not just me, it's other people. You see, I've been following Misanthropony for quite some time. You see, I started following him after he called out Doug Walker for Doug Walker's horrible behavior and the things that he's done. And I really appreciated that. I thought he was a cool guy. He was calling out somebody who was obviously doing some wrong. And then, uh, and then The Last of Us 2 came out. I'm excited for the game. I can't wait to play it. And then I finally play it, and I see that he's posting a bunch of spoilers and basically saying how horrible the game is and since i'm following him and i think that you know i've i've had a few brief conversations with him before not not a uh, not face to face but i've I just posted a comment on him every once in a while and i uh commented saying that 
Hey, uh, personally, I really liked it. I like the story. I like the gameplay. And I don't think that Naughty Dog had the intention of offending anybody. It was just my opinion. And then he posted that kids get away from the retard crap. And I'm like, hey, come on. I, I didn't say anything to offend you. I wasn't attacking you. I, you can have your own opinion. You don't have to like the game's story. And then that's when he blocked me. I then looked more into it, and I noticed that he was going around to literally everything on Twitter that had something to do with The Last of Us Part 2, and anyone trying to have an opinion on it, saying that it's good, and him saying, but no, they're wrong, it's actually bad, you're an idiot, you're a dead brain moron. And then I see that he's been doing the same thing with the people who liked the Ghostbusters reboot, the Star Wars sequel trilogy, mm. and... Uh, I just well, noticed that just, he had been jumping on every single possible hate train on the internet, but the only difference is that he's actively trying to say that his opinion on hating the thing is superior and anyone who disagrees with him, even if it's very politely, even if they have respect for it, he still calls them out and says, you're a dead brain moron, you should be ashamed of yourself, you're not a real Star Wars fan. Robert, Robert, I just want to ask you uh, just a question real quick, and do you mind if I call you Robert? It's okay, yeah, you can call me Robert. Robert, if, if he, let's say that, let's just, let's say for the sake of argument, he, that all of this is true, he's calling all these people all of these things about all of these pieces of media. Let's just say for the sake of argument, all of that is true. I don't know whether or not it's true. I haven't been following most of that. Yeah. Who, why, why does that bother you so much? I mean, who cares what some asshole on the internet thinks? At the end of the day, if he's going to be a sandpapered butthole about this stuff, I don't know why you should let it affect you on that level. So why are you letting it affect you that much? Because he's brought me up to other people before. He's... <sighs> Who has he been, brought you up to? Uh, well, with this one comment, uh, this one comment on his video on the new He-Man show said uh, that this is why pirating should be illegal. And then Miss Anthropony said, "Better be careful. Hayden Simile's going to get on your ass about it." Because I told Miss Anthropony that pirating is still illegal and you can still go to jail for it. And uh, he still called me dead brain after that. And <laughs> If I may, can I please get a word in edgewise here? Go on ahead. A few things here. Just just a few. Hold on here. Let me talk to you. A few things here. Number one, you also treat your opinion like it's fact. You know how I know Ow. that? Okay, you think Miss Anthropony's mean, right? I do. That's an opinion you just treated as fact. It's your opinion, and you treat it as fact, and you state it as fact, and you argue with people who tell you you're wrong. Congratulations, you're guilty of the same thing. Secondly, but, claims, we finish. But you just said that he was mean too. I mean, doesn't that yes. kind of... Here's the thing. I don't care if he's mean. As long as he does not cross specific moral barriers, I don't care if he's mean. Because this is reality and this is real life. No one is obligated to coddle your personal feelings. And his statement about you, watch out, he'll get on your, he'll get on your case... That's called a joke, son. Joke. You have projected a personal value onto a content creator that doesn't know you from Adam. It's on you. Now, more to the point, getting down to this. It does not matter if he uses mean words to you. It does not matter if he gets on, quote-unquote, every single hate train. He is entitled to hate something. He's entitled to talk about it. You people, every single one of you that I've ran into... Never have an actual point outside of being offended by his mean words. That's why when you claimed he made a threat, I rocked you on it. Because you don't know what the word means. And if your claim is, well, Twitter says it was a threat, therefore it is. Son, Twitter bans people for false reasons all the time. They literally allow people who promote child predation and animal predation on their website. If that's your moral value, you're already lost. You have clearly never dealt with an actual threat. Your life clearly has very little adversity if it gets you this twisted.
And I couldn't agree more. Oh, and Robert, if you're watching this video, Miss Emperor Pony doesn't owe you shit. Just because your feelings got hurt, the, the fact that Miss Amprope has a different opinion about The Last of Us Part 2 and the Star Wars The Last Jedi sequel, that you felt the need to basically slander his name on Twitter, not to mention bringing Emily into this just to spite Miss Amprope, you absolute scumbag. And I have no sympathy towards you, and any excuse you come up with will eventually backfire on you. Ugh, for fuck's sake. Not only you were a coward, but you're also a documented liar. Hell, you even lied to MTS the Shark about Miss Amphropony and put his tweets out of context. So that's why he made a response video of you. Number one, um... Recently, ever since I did my summer video on Miss Anthropony, I've been wanting to do a part three, but I didn't know how to get to it. Um, and I decided I would start working on it. Um, however, there's a reason I started working on it, and this was a really flawed reason. The reason was because a guy named Robert Hayden came to me telling me to do part three, and he gave me all the stuff, and I was like, okay, I should probably do it. Um, I was completely unaware of what Robert Hayden was doing behind the scenes. And now I realize this man's a piece of shit, and not only... Does him, me discovering everything he's done and how awful he's been and how awful he recently has been, um, not only does it ruin everything I've ever, it, like, ever gone at map as, but it completely destroys my entire testimony against misanthropy. Because this man has outright lied to people, abused people, stalked people, it's a total mess. But me and Robert Hayden, he was the guy who provided a lot of evidence for the summer video. Um... And what happened was, is recently he took things too far. Now, in general, stalking with Santa Pony was already way too far, and it was kind of weird. Um, but he took things to the next level when he decided um, to bring Emmy into this. I don't want to get too much into how he did it, but he basically started bringing Emmy as a target into Miss Anthropony feud. Um, which was way too far. He went at a horrible angle, pretty much saying things along the lines of, uh, Miss Anthropony being a horrible influence. It was, it was just awful. It was such a horrible thing to say. And the moment he said it, I instantly thought to myself, okay, um, there is a problem here. And the more things went down, I regret this a lot. I didn't remove it from my server because we have a server. We had a server. It's gone now, but we had a server that was the crimes of Miss Anthropony, which was us, which was me trying to gain evidence against him. Um, however, Robert pretty much did like, after he came at Emily, I already thought to myself, oh man, I don't know if I can come at Map anymore. And it's not just, I knew I was, I was going to do a later video, but it became worse to me because Map isn't the type of person that, like, I don't, I don't think, like, okay, I'll never phrase this. Um, this video is very raw, by the way, it's very off the cuff. Um, but, um, the thing about it was the whole thing was not only was it just like, I had someone awful on my team. I had someone that did something way worse than anything that Santa Point ever run. He went way farther than anything that Santa Point's done. Yeah, and so to people on the internet and saying retard is bad, in my opinion, it's fucked up. But it it doesn't compare to Robert calling out Emily for something that doesn't matter. She should have never been involved. It took things way too far. And after it removed from our server, and pretty much everybody was on the page of, yeah, this guy's awful. The more it hit me, the more I was like, I really need to come to this at a different angle rather than let's get that Miss Anthropony a third time and not really accomplish anything other than just more hatred towards me and more drama that doesn't need to happen and things being brought too far. Especially when things already on my side were brought too far. To the point where now I have to sit there and think, oh, um, I shouldn't take things any farther. I shouldn't push this any farther because of the limit it's already hit. It's to the point now where this drama became involving people and targeting people who should have never even been discussed or mentioned. This sh whole drama should have stayed in the idea of what if Miss Anthropony is saying really fucked up things on the internet. Not, let's bring his, let's bring like family members, let's bring people in his like personal life into this. It should have never gotten to that. And I always avoided going to that. 
Um, but I kind of, somebody on my team slipped and they let it go to that. And I somewhat feel responsible because I was giving this man's evidence a platform, which is part of the reason why I deleted my last video. Every misanthropony of my video, every single video on my channel that's titled misanthropony is gone. The main reason why they're gone is because now I recognize my entire case against him was flawed from the start. I had a guy on my team who flat out lied just to get petty revenge and misanthropony. It ruined everything. This doesn't mean I agree with everything Miss Anthropony said, but it fully makes it to me, oh, maybe I shouldn't have two 50-minute videos on the internet attacking a guy who, real at the end of the day, I don't have a ton of things backing it up anymore. Because the guy who had the evidence gave it out of context, and everything he's done is in, everything he's done is in question now. Um, and the more I thought about it, just the more it bothered me how that happened. So I did my best to reach out to Leo and the team on Miss Anthropony. Um, and I ended up joining their Discord server, the Senate. Now, I was aware, kind of, of this server. I was aware of it because a lot of people describe being bullied in the server. And I thought that was fucked up until I joined the server and it hit me. Oh, well, that's to be expected. And I shouldn't be that mad at that because the whole... There is a warning at the beginning of the server that says, This is a barbarian server. You have been warned. You may be bullied. Or you... Not, not inherently bullied. You may be attacked and it may be rough for you. There's a warning at the opening server, and I even had to get special permission from Leo to join due to my age. So, it already brings to my point, okay, if you're in the Senate, you should be able to handle that. And maybe it doesn't just have everything said in there, but you should be able to handle it. Um, the phone call was interesting to me. It didn't go the way I hoped it was. I thought it would be a very peaceful discussion, um, but Leo, Leo really broke things down pretty well, and he did, he made me realize some things. First of all, being that when we're talking about this drama, we're talking about a 16-year-old versus a ton of adults. Like, and that's not me saying just because I'm 16, I know nothing. But really, I don't have nearly the same experience as any of these guys, including Miss Anthropony. I don't have the same experience as any of them. I don't care what they've said or what they've done. They're adults. They've lived full lives. They have way more experience than me. They don't have the same issues as me. They don't have the same anything as me. They're far different from me. Um, to the point where they're just more mature human beings than me in terms of how long they've lived. Um... A lot of good points were made against me, and it was to the point where it hit me, oh, I don't know if I really need, I don't, there's no good reason for me to have a grudge against Miss Anthropony to the extent I still do. Being mad at him over some certain comments is a different thing, but it's arguable to say even me kind of went too far with the videos I made, with the things I've said. It's not that I said things that were Crossing was right, insulted him too bad. It's the fact that I just did so much against him to the point where it was weird to me. It it was nice though, actually, and it was actually nice talking to Miss Anthropony, right? Because I've had so many years with this, like, like I've I've wanted to talk to him for a long time. Um, and the fact that I finally got that phone call is nice to me. Um but the thing that was interesting about it um was uh it was just in general like I, he makes, like, a valid point to me. Like, I should not be upset at this guy's anger whatsoever. Or it really any of the anger he has against me or anybody that was against him. Because the people who were against him had this guy named Robert Hayden, who was straight up just went, took things overblown way too far and did some horrible things. So at the end of the day, it hits me, this gone too far. This has been brought to the limits. And it's not just a, let me back off. It's a... I need to stop. So, in general, I am going to stop. This doesn't mean I agree with everything Miss Anthropony said on the internet. Um, but I will admit one thing. There are some wild claims I made in the video. There And there are. Um, and I, I want to address those claims because Miss Anthropony has addressed them directly to me. And about how those claims probably went there, there too far. Calling him a misogynist. Calling him an ableist. There are a lot of insults I used in there that... Turn back on um, there are a lot of insults I used in there that just, you know, they were just out of bounds too far. And I've even learned from his group that these aren't cyber bullies. They're just not the nicest people. Um, and it's hit me now. If I am to come at people on the internet, I probably shouldn't. <laughs> but if I do, they shouldn't be this kind of person. Not only did you stalk him on social media, you also sent false information on Twitter trying to slander him, completely lied to NTS the Shark, and sent false proof about Miss Ampropony 
and completely destroyed his credibility because of your oversensitive ass. And not only that, you're refusing to answer any questions because you're too much of a fucking pussy. And not only that, you will go as far as to bring up Mintart of all people just to spite Miss Amphropony. She has been through enough abuse already. There's no need for you to bring her up to begin with. Oh, but Miss Amphropony hurt my feelings on Twitter. So fucking what? At least he wouldn't go as far as telling people to kill themselves making fun of someone else's dead ones. Not only that, he will never support pedophilia or suophilia. If anything, he was against it, which his videos proven time and time again to completely debunk everything you just said about him. And you, on the other hand, are completely, completely... <sighs> This is exactly why Twitter is a fucking garbage platform because people like you are trying so hard to virtue signal because you want to be a morally correct one even though you did very questionable things yourself which completely makes you a complete hypocrite and not only that you completely make his social media life a living hell for the whole fucking year because of your false accusations towards him. And now because of you, he has to have been through all that hell for the rest of the year because of you. You are a pathetic waste of space. Uh, I... I'm getting offended by the fact that Miss Anthropony thinks he's mm -hmm. trying to act so superior. <laughs> I'm sorry, I know I'm being petty here, but I find it really funny because he says he's being offended because he thinks that Miss Amphropony was above everyone else. But yet he treat his opinions about Miss Amphropony like they were facts. Yeah, shut the fuck up. Okay, joking aside, this drama is completely blown out of proportion and Robert is a complete scumbag. We all knew that already. And I'm not apologized for that either. And for those of you who hear my emotional outburst, I'm sorry. It's just that Robert has gotten away with it for so long until a year later. This drama is completely drained the toll out of me. I should really need to take a break making commentary videos for a while. Outside of gameplays and memes here and there, but overall the, the commentary videos, I will take a break. Not forever, just for a little while. And Miss Amphropony, if you're watching this, I hope that you got as much support as possible. And NTS, if you're watching this video, I'm sorry that your that ev that your credibility has completely destroyed because of one person who is completely out of his rocker. And Mindhard, if you're watching this, I'm sorry for all the abuse you have gone through. And I believe that will be it for today. If you like this video, if you do, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. Follow me on social media. And hit the noble kitchen bells for my future videos. Now, with that being said... I'm getting offended by the fact that Miss Anthropony thinks he's mm -hmm. trying to act so superior. Now grow up. <laughs>